morning. So, I just wanted to share with you <clears throat> and with myself that um, I was just, just now, writing um, for my application to a graduate program in San Diego that is um, a peace and justice school. And as I was writing this application um, and thinking about uh, the things that I've learned over the past five years, I guess, um, through college, through my experience um, with other people and other cultures and other places, um, I just want to continue to draw on that experience and that truth. Um, very difficult times that I moved through and found footing in found grounding in and I feel like coming back to America that's kind of been rocky and I think I've devoted myself to accepting and entering into situations that are rocky um, because sometimes to learn things um, and to enforce things that you know to, to test them I think that um, we don't do that enough. We don't put ourselves in difficult situations enough. We aren't willing to see if we can make it through. Um, and maybe it's not for everyone. I know I've come out um, wounded, to say the least, but I think that it'll be refined in a really beautiful way. Um, but all that to say that... Uh, I don't know how humans come together and grow and um, accept each other, how we stand for justice and against injustice and strive to love everyone um, when people aren't being loved or being helped and I think a lot of the times I acknowledge that in my heart when I I have always struggled with this and I see it coming back in a way that I wish it never had that I believe that some people who aren't loving people that I think need to be loved, um, I think less of them, and I'm angry at them, and there's a lot of assumptions being made, and there's, um, I think, I don't, again, I don't know how we do this, maybe there's, there is supposed to be a personal and a social sphere, or maybe our culture calls for that, um, because we are cultural beings, we communicate in certain ways and we understand certain things and, and we can contribute to culture, but it's important to recognize where we come from so that we can connect. Um, but yeah, I just want to go back to roots of, um, connecting with humans first and foremost, and not focusing on the really hard things, and the, it sounds counterintuitive, but not focusing on the things that make you angry and mad. But at the same time, not ignoring those things either, but standing in balance in between the two and making sure that 
the things that you're passionate about and that you want other people to be passionate about as well or you want at least to to bring awareness to um how are you doing that and in in you standing for peace and justice and love for maybe an entity that isn't being respected and loved are you in in that way um doing so the same onto the another entity and if you were the majority then would it still be a vicious cycle of the minority that today is disrespecting and hurting others in your view would you be doing the that same thing to them if you were the majority.